Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to use dynamic content within a short code to pull from third party plugin data to tap into some fun advanced features within Cornerstone on WordPress. Now that sounds like a mouthful and it kind of is so just follow along with me here. Now I recently did this for a client that has multiple locations and they have a specific PDF that is assigned to each of those locations. So you can think of this like a restaurant and each location has their own variation of a menu. So the first thing we're going to do is create our location. So let's go ahead and do this through custom post type UI. So we're going to go add new CPT UI, come in here, install and activate. Okay. So first things first, we'll add a new post type and we'll call this locations, locations, location, oops, populate. And just because I think it's weird to have my in there, we'll go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and add it. And now we have our locations post type. Now, if you are a Cornerstone user, you can come up here and click on Pro and you can install ACF Pro from right here. All right, so now that we have that activated, we're actually gonna do one more thing here. We're gonna jump into our plugins. And because this client that I was working with wanted some sort of flipbook, and you can think what you want about flipbook plugins, um, but we got one of these here, so we can dive into any one of these. Let's go ahead and just do this one. I believe that's the one we used and installed and activate. So here we have D flip books here and we can go ahead and add a new PDF. We'll call this location one and we'll come down to our PDF selector here and let's go ahead and upload our PDF. We'll go ahead and click on send to D flip and there we go. Um, and that's probably good. That's all we really need. Now what I was trying to avoid here. So this is the location one. We'll call this menu, right? And we'll publish. I didn't want the client every time they uploaded a new menu to have to grab a short code and then enter that short code into their location post type and all of that fun stuff. So here's what we did. Let's go ahead and jump into ACF here and we'll click add new field group. We'll call this locations and let's go ahead and we'll just add some sort of text area. Call this, um, you know, uh, location description, something like that. You might have a few of these in here. And then what we want to do is add one for post object. So you'll see that right here and that's a relational and we'll call this uh, menu attachment. And where do we want it to search? Well, we want it to search the D flipbook in this case or whatever plugin you might be using. Really, we could simplify this whole thing and just have it return the post ID, but we're going to do the full post object. And I'll just show you what we're going to do here because you could use this again in many different scenarios. Now, the final thing that we want to do here before we save it is come down to our settings and it says it's going to show on post type is post. We actually want that to be location. So we'll go ahead and select that. Click save. And now we'll go ahead and jump over to adding our first location. We'll come over here. We'll click add new. And now I'm not a huge fan of Gutenberg, so I'm actually going to jump back into the back end of WordPress here. Go down to CPT UI, add edit post types edit my post type, make sure I've got locations selected here, scroll all the way down and under supports, I'm going to turn off the editor and save. Let's go back to our location, click add new. So we'll call this location one. We'll give it a description and now we want to attach our menu. So we'll come in here and you'll see we have menu one that we can attach. The problem is that's just attaching the post type for menu one, right? It's not actually attaching the PDF file. We need that short code uh, from over here. So let's look at that. We need the short code here to actually attach the PDF file. We're attaching this full post type here. Go ahead and publish. And now let's look at this on the front end. And there we have location one. We're going to come in here and click edit and cornerstone. We're going to add a new single. And this is going to be for our location. So we'll call this location, single settings, conditions, add post type, show this when it is equal to location. All right. So now we are displaying locations. We also want to come up here and make sure our preview is set to locations as well. And we have location one selected there. And now let's do, we'll just do this from scratch. We'll go ahead and let's add some top padding there just to push things down so we can see it and let's test this out make sure we're pulling through proper content so we'll just grab a title here and pull it through and there it's location one let's go ahead and just grab a text element here and see if we can pull through our location 
location description. There we go. I'll add it in and there it is. Give it a description. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and add in our PDF. Now, the way we're going to do this, let's go ahead and design this a little bit first on our primary row here. Let's go ahead and just set a little bit of bottom margin. I'm going to do like four M's just to space things out a bit. And then we're going to add another row and we'll just add a single column here. Uh, once we have that container, that's going to contain our PDF flipbook. Let's go ahead and select the outermost container here. So that's our row. We're going to come up to customize here and we're going to turn on our looper provider for dynamic content. So now what I want this to do is I want this to go and fetch that post object. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type ACF field post field and we want our menu attachment post object. So it's going and getting whatever is in that field. And now we want our column here to be consuming that. Now, cool little trick, just to make sure everything's working, we can come in here, we can grab a text element or a raw element or whatever you want, and we can, let's go to our HTML here. We can type in double curly DC looper debug underscore consumer double curly close. And now we get this little bug icon here. And so now we can test everything and make sure that it is in fact pulling through our proper post and it looks like it is which just so happens to line up with exactly what this short code id is here and so that is how we're going to configure this here let's go ahead and copy our short code jump back over here and we'll go ahead and get rid of that debug consumer now and we will place in our short code now all of that is working but i want this to work on multiple templates right so if i had a location two i wanted to pull through location two's pdf if i had a location three i wanted to pull through location three's pdf and if i just put this in here as flipbook id 94 it's only going to pull in this one item 94 and so how do we change that well we can actually add dynamic content directly to our short codes now, what we're gonna do is actually tap into our post ID. So it is already looping through the post object, right? And so if I were to get this post ID here, now this is not the post ID of our location because it's inside of this looper right here. So it's actually the post ID of the post object that is on our ACF field. So let's test this out. We'll click on numeric and that should give us the post ID, which is 94. Perfect. So now we'll just grab this dynamic content here, which is in the double curlies. We'll come over to our fixed value, the 94, and we'll replace that. Now, if I were to refresh this and look at it on the front end, and here I have my PDF flipbook. So now if we jump back over to our flipbook here and we go ahead and add another one, we'll call this location two menu. We come in to PDF file and we click select and maybe we just have one that's just a red PDF, something like this, which we'll see in a second. We'll publish. Now, when we add another location here, we call this location two, description, attach, menu to, publish. Now, if I were to come up here and refresh, location one has blue, pink, yellow, green. And if I were to go to location two, location two just has pink. You'll notice there aren't any more pages because that's what the PDF was that we uploaded. So it automatically did all of that on its own. And all we had to do was simply tap into our dynamic fields for the post object. So in a nutshell, fun little ways that you can use dynamic content to populate a short code so that you can reuse it in your single post type templates. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.